Hey there, comic book friends and fiends. It's Rob here for the Great Wall of Comics. It's comics curing cancer time. We've got more donations from you, the community, to us, comics curing cancer, as we take on that supervillain cancer. So let's take a look. All right, so we got a stack of packages here for our comics carrying cancer. Uh, let's go ahead and get into these and see what we got. All right, so the first thing we got is from Richard Bowen's donated uh, some items here. Uh, so first of all, comics carrying cancer. Uh, if you don't know what it is at this point, here's what here's the scoop. Okay, uh, cancer bad. You don't like it, therefore comics carrying cancer. It's all money. Go. We're raising money to go to the American Cancer Society, collecting donations right now for our big charity event auction, October 4th through the 6th. Keep following Comics Carrying Cancer on Instagram and on YouTube for more, or Facebook for more information. All right. So first up here in this donation here, we've got uh, two of the uh, Marvel Legends Wolverine figures. Very cool. I didn't know. Uh, backside, you got the all the stuff. When did these come out? Did they say? 2022. So here, 2022 Marvel Legends uh, by Kenner uh, action figures, uh, two Wolverine figures, and then we have this here. Now, I believe he was explaining. These are custom made figures for, for some of these in here. Let's see if there's a, all right. So um, I've got one of them here. Uh, we'll put up what these are for his, his own line of stuff he's doing. But this is a, one of the figures here. He's got some ammo clips in his belt. This is all adjustable. I mean, it looks like, I guess you can paint them yourself his legs are different lengths but so this guy and the other character unfortunately is broken uh this is what he should look like this is like this but unfortunately it's snapped um and it's got i guess this is some sort of vest accessory that you could put on him looks like a biker vest it's got some kind of raised skull emblem on the background and i guess you could sort of put it on him i'm not sure how you could do that it's kind of um a very rigid plastic i'm not sure how you would put that on without breaking it but anyways it's kind of cool. Put up this information here. This is uh, Aries Brothers Collectibles. We'll throw that information down below in the links. Next up, we have a box from Dr. Von Hoot. So Dr. Von Hoot's comics from the Spiral Dimension. We got these out and packed here. We have four slabs, which are very kind of co very cool. Uh, I'm going to show you the first one. So we'll kind of go through these. Uh, let's go. So first up. We have Spawn 119 in an 8.5. It's a very cool uh, Todd McFarlane, Greg Capullo Spawn cover. So here's Spawn 119. And then we have uh, Transformers. Number five in a 9.6, Daniel Warren Johnson. This is, yeah, the Daniel Warren Johnson story, cover, and art. <laughs> so there you go. The six, one guy does it all. <laughs> and then, I'm surprised he... He gave this up. It's probably only because he's got another copy that's signed. This is um, 
Action Comics 1053, this Will Jack cover. What color is our cape? <laughs> Very cool. And in the last slab, this is cool. This is, uh, he's, he showed me this before. Uh, this is a UK, a new UK grading company. Um, so this is a slab, a 9.8 graded uh, copy of Spectacular Spider-Man uh, number, f number four. I think, no, number five. Um, but so this is a, this is a new grading company. Uh, in the UK and uh, it's called it looks like it says only graded only graded so we should get it only graded and bring it on only slabs maybe I need to work out a partnership with them only slabs and only graded it's a very solid slab I mean, it's obviously it's smaller it looks like it would fit inside of a almost like a normal box because it is significantly narrower. Let's compare it to the comic capsule, shall we? Um, so it's a little bit wider than the comic capsule, but it's probably, if I had the Silver Age comic capsule, it might be the same width there. It very well might fit in a regular box, but the problem is I think the height, the height is obviously too, too tall for a regular comic box, but still very cool. Somebody will get a chance in the U. Uh, well, could be somebody outside the U.S., but potentially somebody just wants a novelty piece, a completely different grading company. All right. So last up, I've got a parcel here from Man Cave Comics. Now, Doc, great fr friend of the show, only slabs that I do um, Saturdays, 11:30 a.m. Pacific, 2:30 p.m. Eastern. He's been on multiple times. He's very generous. He sent in a uh, box for us. So let's open it up, take a look, see what we've got. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Doc does not disappoint. Holy cow. Doc, you are super generous. Thank you so much. Ladies and gentlemen, check this out. This could well be one of the centerpieces of anybody's collection. And this will be available at Comics Carrying Cancer. We got Amazing Spider-Man 129. The first appearance of the Jackal and the Skull Boy or whatever his name is, Punisher. Uh, and this is a 5.5 signature series signed by the uh, writer uh, or story. Yeah, by the story creator, uh, Jerry Conway. Check that out. A beautiful 5.5. Five. Very cool. First appearance of the Punisher. Someone is going to be able to pick that up during comics curing cancer so there you go what an awesome haul guys thank you guys so much for these donations make sure uh guys thank those spotlighted community members uh and please take part in the uh c3 challenge uh and let shout out those items that you're going to be donating to us and name your friends in your hashtag and challenge them to step up and show off what they're donating until next time collect what you want don't listen to anybody including me i'm just a fat man with a fat stack of comics and a fat opinion thanks for watching